Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time over here, my name is Easy Online, also known as Brenda. But if you are a returning subby, thank you so much for stopping back by. Today, I'm coming through with another DIY video and I wanted to just kind of give you guys some background information on what this actual paneling uh, job came from. So what you'll see in the next couple of clips is of course the actual DIY project of how we transformed this very beautiful wall into what you are able to see right now. Isn't it pretty? So background, when we moved into this house in 2013, towards the end of 2013, this wall was literally just up until here. So I don't know what the build idea was. There wasn't a door. There was just this wall halfway. So as you came up, came up the staircase, you would literally walk into this room with half a wall. This is the main bedroom. So to kind of get some form of privacy, we decided that we wanted to build it all the way up. The building of the actual top part of the wall was also another DIY project by my husband, probably one of the first DIY projects that we did. So this is actually drywall as opposed to brick that is at the bottom. So he kind of built this up to kind of close out the room and we added a door to the far end of this wall. Now, the issue with that was we could actually see the division between the drywall as well as the brick wall. So I came up with a concept that I would like to panel this wall more so to kind of hide the fact that we kind of extended the wall and kind of make it an accent wall piece. So what did we do? We went ahead and we added this wall paneling all of it was DIY, courtesy of my husband. And then we just recently did a coat of paint. I wanted to go with this gray theme, which of course you guys will get to see when I do the room reveal of the entire transformation that we've done in this room. So I just really wanted to make sure that you guys get some form of background information. It's a pity we didn't actually record the part where the wall was still half, but you will see what the wall actually looked like after my husband extended it to kind of close the room out. I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Please let me know what your thoughts are. Share any videos that you might have seen of wall paneling. Ask any questions that you may have in terms of where we source the material, what material we use, etc. But I do hope you'll enjoy this video. Don't forget to click like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll enjoy the rest of this video. Cheers! This was the blank canvas that we started with as I alluded to as you can see on this wall the division lines between the drywall and the brick wall were quite evident so it definitely needed some attention to beautify it. What we then of course started to do was just kind of try and figure out how we would go about concealing um, the division and this is the concept that we kind of put on paper to show us exactly where we would panel in order to kind of end up with the final product what you are seeing here are some of the products that we used that is the data rail uh, and we of course picked up the grip saw uh, we needed some hammers and what you see there is the glue gun uh, and there's a level as well to make sure everything is straight we also had some measuring tape etc all of these tools are my husband's he is quite handy around the house so it is no surprise we also picked up this no more nails and as well as this acrylic um, to seal the edges after we had completed the actual paneling. We also picked up the corners because we wanted to trim the top of the wall uh, because of course we had done the extension as I had mentioned. Uh, and this was our set. And off my husband went about uh, measuring and of course being precise in terms of drawing exactly where the paneling would go um, we had measured everything to the T kind of followed the concept as well and what we did is of course begin with drawing the actual lines which then served as the guide in terms of where he actually needed to stick the paneling we did also secure it with some nails afterwards just so it could really 
really be steady on the wall particularly on the dry wall because of course we were worried that it was uneven and we didn't want to risk anything kind of coming off uh, this is exactly the same process he was just drawing the lines on the brick wall as well using the level to make sure of course that we are quite accurate in terms of how straight those lines are which of course will result in how straight the paneling is uh, and it's quite faint but you can see there the lines were drawn to kind of indicate and serve as a blueprint of where the wall paneling data rails would go on he then went on to cut uh, the data rails to precision according to of course the frames that we had drawn uh, one thing i really liked about this particular saw is it actually allows you to be able to kind of get the angles right as well so the corners of the uh, frame we were able to actually cut them uh, to precision and end up with a really beautiful looking piece of um, data rail uh, the data rails we picked up from a place in montague gardens if you are interested please do dm me or leave me a comment and then i will of course provide you with the details uh, this this particular design of course was sold out uh, after we had bought uh, what was left of it uh, when we decided to panel the wall downstairs which is in our entrance hall uh, we kind of had to go to uh, buco i think where we picked up uh, the data rail there it is actually quite cheap not too expensive at all so really worth the buy and once it's up on that wall it really is a masterpiece and here you can see what i was telling you about him actually cutting the corners of the uh, data rail so that he could actually attach it so it forms that beautiful seamless um, frame corner this was quite a bit of work he actually had to cut each and every piece to precision place it on the floor just so he could see how it would come together uh, so he actually made sure that he cut each and every piece for each and every uh, panel that we were going to do before we actually went about sticking it on the wall this is just another angle of me showing you how it actually looked after the final cutting was done from there on he proceeded to of course apply the glue uh, that is the no no more nails that i mentioned uh, once we ran out of that we went to top it up and we picked up something called sticks like um shit uh, <laughs> from uh, build it does the job as well you just really need to make sure that you pick up the correct glue just so you can have the reassurance that it will stick on that wall uh, whether or not you do decide to kind of supplement it with uh, additional nails on top uh, the glue should be able to kind of hold on its own which is of course what we have seen in a couple of videos we had watched before doing our own paneling the glue is quite sufficient provided your wall is very straight there's no inconsistencies on it that might result in the uh, actual data rail lifting what you're seeing is of course my hubby going ahead and sticking the first piece on the wall um, it is quite easy to stick you kind of have to hold it down for a few minutes uh, and of course follow the lines that you drew to ensure that you are sticking it quite straight uh, he also went on to use the level uh, just to kind of be double sure that everything was still quite straight uh, he did the same with each and every piece that he put up on the wall as you can see that glue is pretty good it stuck to the wall pretty quickly after being applied and it stayed there uh, we just went ahead with the nails on top as a precaution as i mentioned but it wasn't really a necessity and i do believe it would have probably stuck on its own but because it was drywall we wanted to make sure that we wouldn't run the risk of it falling off 
how beautiful is it already guys i mean a masterpiece it really helps to be uh, quite neat and quite to the point in terms of your measurements and everything that you put into the preparations um, you can always just go ahead and stick this on the wall without drawing your lines uh, but for me avoid doing anything that will run the risk of you getting it wrong uh, rather be super precise and make sure you are taking every step possible to end up with a seamless and beautiful outcome what you are seeing here is of course the rest of the data rails being stuck on no magic about it we were just going about sticking it up one rail at a time measuring to make sure that it was stuck onto the wall quite straight and until we of course finished the the entire wall And here, guys, is what it ended up looking like after we had actually paneled the four uh, blocks that we had drawn on the wall. The only piece that was now missing was, of course, the middle one, which you are now seeing over here. And this is how the wall looked after the paneling was put up on the wall. I was quite pleased with how it looked already. And then, of course, we went ahead and we started the painting job. I like to call my bedroom 50 Shades of gray because i've kind of gone really gray in terms of everything that's in that room we painted the entire room in this beautiful gray tone uh, when it first went up on the wall i was quite concerned that it might be a little bit darker than what i anticipated but a couple of days later i've completely fallen in love with it and as you can see this is the after of what the wall paneled wall looked like i am obsessed guys absolutely worth the investment and of course because we did it ourselves we saved quite a bit of money but of course if you are not a diy person i would completely recommend that you get somebody who's going to come in and do this for you but if you are a diy person it is definitely worth the investment and it saves you quite a lot of money to be able to do this and it is a cheap way to really make your wall unique and beautiful we also of course did the other side of that wall it was quite tricky because of course there is a staircase up there but my husband did an amazing job as you can see um and this is the wall downstairs that i was talking to you about we went on and we paneled the wall by our entry door and i am completely obsessed as you can see the data rails here are quite different from the ones we used upstairs but nonetheless the result was just as gorgeous i hope you really did enjoy this video and i'll see you in my next one cheers fam <laughs>